Hi, I'm Mina. I'm a designer at Chef Cuchulo. Today, I'm going to teach you how to cook cuckoo sapsi. Cuckoo sapsi is a traditional food in Iran. Do you know where Iran is? Iran is on the east side of the U.S. Iran has many traditional and historical buildings and natural landscapes like deserts and lots of gardens. Iran has also beautiful carpets and delicious foods. They make some foods in the celebration of their new year, which is the first day of spring. Kuku Sapsi is one of them. Are you ready to make Kuku Sapsi? Let's start together. So let's start the Ingredients for cuckoo sapsi: one large bunch of dill, two large leeks, one large bunch of parsley, one large bunch of cilantro, two garlic cloves, and as you see, I already made, chopped and minced the vegetables and garlic, and I already mixed them together. You also need four eggs and one tablespoon of baking powder and a half of a cup berries and half of a cup walnuts and four tablespoons olive oil and like lots of spices salt and pepper one tablespoon turmeric and one tablespoon fenugreek and you can also add paprika but it's optional if you really like a spicy food that's a good option to add so bring a mixing bowl and add eggs into it and mix it together. Bring another mixing bowl and add all the vegetables to it and also add other ingredients like the spices that you had and then also add barberries and walnuts to the mixture. And then mix all the ingredients together and then add eggs to it. Put the saucepan on a medium heat and let the oil warm up. The culinary technique here is frying, so you should add the mixture to the pan and let the heat transfer from the pan to the mixture and then using the spatula to turn over the mixture to make sure that the other side has also been baked. So when adding mixture to the pan, because as I said, it's a frying technique, you have to cover all the pan with the mixture. So make sure that the mixture covers all of the pan so the heat transfers from the pan to the mixture and the mixture will be baked by that heat. Now 
can pour all the mixture to the pan uh, let it cook for approximately 40 minutes After 35 to 40 minutes, use a spatula, slice the cuckoo and make sure the other side have also been cooked. Turn over the cuckoo with a spatula and make sure it is also cooked and after some minutes check it, whether it is cooked or not. Now the cuckoo is ready. You can garnish it with walnuts and barberries. Shit, John.